Hi friends, today we are going to see what is literature. Literature is called as a mirror of life. So uh, we can see all our life in literature. So anyone who studied literature can understand the term what is a mirror of life. So we study so many different varieties of characters and through that characters we can relate ourselves and we call that as a mirror of life. And next uh, we can say literature is the artistic expression of sound thoughts. We have many different thoughts we can able to understand through this through studying various types of books and and ex explains a lot about uh, various types of actions and thoughts which they did in the previous uh, period and also in the in the upcoming uh, in the current period so it says much about the expression of sound thoughts and the next thing is literature is a truthful uh, truthful expression of life through the medium of language so uh, we can say it is also very truthful so in cinema we can see uh, we can see many unrealistic things happening uh, in the cinematic field but it it uh, most often not happens in the literature especially in the novels we can see the true portrayal of the characters even if it is good or bad they they portray both the type of characters in the uh, literature so that we call it as the medium of language and it is a truthful expression of life success lies in blending both art and morality in the way it becomes a thought so uh, it also blend both the things the art will be blended with the morality so success lies uh, in blending both the things as long as human being have emotions and feelings literature will be created and it will be read and enjoyed so we have uh, many thoughts and feelings uh, emotions in our uh, in our writings and also we can read that and we we also feel that expressions and the emotions which we read over there so uh, it will be created in our in our self also while reading a, a book with a lot of emotions and feeling it will be created in us and also we enjoy those type of reading and the next thing it is filled it is filled with spontaneous and intense passion and ima imaginative ideas and reflective viewpoints of literary men. So many often we can, while reading the poetry, we can uh, we can read across the spontaneous overflow of powerful ideas. As the words were, say he explains the daffodils using with the spontaneity. So it often uh, it often also speaks about the intense passion and imagination, uh, which reflects uh, in the mind of a man. It provides aesthetic pleasure and relief to a relief to the mind of a common man. In the olden days, there was there was no YouTube or any other TV or newspapers. They they relieve themselves only by reading the books. So that is literature. So they get a pleasure out of it and we, we call it as aesthetic pleasure. Literature is an art of written work and can in some circumstances refer exclusively to published sources. So many books are there in the literature field and uh, we get some ideas and we get some knowledge, we get some, uh, uh, we, we get into an environment using all those written work. And in other words, we can also say literature heightens one awareness of human life. Many times while reading a book, we understand uh, how a child uh, become an adult and how an adult Come, becomes an old man, middle age, then becomes an old man. Then, uh, then what does the literature teach us? Is um, it's a uh, the life is not uh, a stagnant one. It is not a static. It will go on. It will go on. So we are not uh, we are not an eternal creature in this world. All will all has to die one day. Nobody is nobody is going to stay here for a long time. We are all. We are all going to, we are all mortal people. We are all going to die one day. 
so that was a thing that was the highlighted thing where literature speaks about and it says much about the human life it enhances the human beings vision of life and they begin to look at life with new perspective so we may have um, we may have many sort of evil characters in within us all human have that that's normal that's per perfectly normal with all the human beings so literature change the new change that perspective of life we may have pride in, within us we may have greedy nature and we may speak ill of others so all these things may be eradicated if we have a good literature good, good literature personality so all these visions of life will get to change while when we start to reading the literature books literature appeals to human beings greatly due to its essential features including thought feeling emotions and beauty of style and form etc so it um, it includes many things uh, literature not only include the um, the philosophical life, philosophical thing of a life it also includes thought feeling emotions and beauty of style and form etc so these are the words which i feel what is literature speaks about so you may have a different idea you can uh, can comment me over that and uh, you can convey me uh, your ideas through the comments thanks for watching thank you thanks for watching hope you like the video please subscribe like and comment our video thank you